Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websoftutorials.com. Guys, from this video, I will teach you about built-in functions in PHP. Guys, in the previous videos, we were talking about user-defined functions. Means we were creating our own function, like function sum and then brackets. Means we were creating our own functions, which are called user-defined functions. Now, from this video, I will teach you about built-in functions. Means built-in functions of PHP. So, firstly, I will tell you about what are built-in functions. PHP comes with many built-in functions or which are also called internal functions. We use them by calling their names and passing them values. Means we use them from their names. So firstly guys I will create a variable and in this video guys I'm going to use a string function, a string built-in function of PHP to calculate the length of a string. So I'll create a string and I will assign it to a variable. I will give it a variable name of name and this is the string value which is Rishabh Kapoor. Now guys, we just, uh, you can see, we use them by calling their names. So, the uh, name of the function is strlen, string length, strlen, then two brackets and in between these two brackets, we will use this variable name, string, string length, echo. Now we will go to the browser and refresh. You can see 13 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Means it is also including space as a string. Guys, it is very useful if you have, uh, uh, means suppose you are creating a, a, a form and you want to check that uh, user, uh, means users should not enter a password less than five characters suppose I'm uh, storing this val uh, result inside a variable name of pass so I will use it with if statement if pass is less than or equal to five mean oh, sorry less than equal to five then please uh, you cannot enter less than or you cannot oh, okay you need to write uh, you should uh, your your password should be more than five correct five characters long now, if we will go to browser, you will see nothing will happen. But if I will remove this, now you will see. Now it has just two characters. Refresh, you can see your password should be more than five characters long. So in this way, you can use these built-in functions with PHP. So means you don't need to create any function for this. So you will use built-in functions, which will help you to in your programming. So guys, this was about a string function. In the next video, we will talk some more. Uh, we will talk uh, about some more uh, built-in functions of PHP. So guys, if you still have any question, you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next tutorial.